Hey kids, you want to hear about chaos, randomness, and disorder? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. My yeah. natural hair state is clearly <laughs> cray. <laughs> this is literally kind of the lesson. Like nature yeah. prefers randomness. It, it takes does. energy to put things in order. It does. It really does. I usually use a Lego analogy, but this is all right. Or, you know, I could, I could, we could use a comb. I could, I could <laughs> drop this glass beaker. If I drop this glass beaker, it's going to hit the floor and shatter everywhere. Right. Why? Because nature prefers chaos, randomness, and disorder. Yeah. More non-animated graphics. <clears throat> but hey, the You're laws right. of thermodynamics indicate that all atoms want to be stable. And at their lowest energy state. Well, because that is what stable is. Their right? lowest energy right. state. Right. So sure. we we actually ran we favor randomness now and disorder mm -hmm. because that is actually lower energy. Right. Because if you think about Legos, you're going right. to make a castle out of Legos. And you got all these Legos on the floor, which are random. You're not going to turn around and the universe isn't going to put it together for you. No. And you got to take some time and it takes some energy on your part. To, to put them all in there and make them all stick right. Mm -hmm. And that takes energy. And now they've changed their position and they store this internal energy. Mm -hmm. Well, they didn't have it. Right. And they really don't want it. Mm -hmm. So they will eventually fall apart. Right. And now the thing about the laws is that they indicate the universe favors a random and disordered scenario for inorganic chemical reactions. Yeah. When you put life into the mix, now things are different. Things are different. If you look at the pure laws of thermodynamics, yeah. universe would not be the way it is. We're talking about like buildings and stuff, like how statues right. corrode, how like you've ever seen the, the show on the History Channel, what it would be like, like life without humans. Right. Like how many years it is before the buildings are overgrown, but then they start to kind of crumble. And, the like, universe the doesn't are, organize itself. No, they don't. We like living it. things organize it so that we can survive. Or make our lives easier. Mm -hmm. Gravity also does some organization, yeah. but we're talking about chemical reactions. And we're only going to really now just relate this to these these four basic physical states of matter. Right? And now solids are very rigid. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to look at it from one blue circle's point of view. If you're solid, they're not allowed to move anywhere. You know who your neighbor is all the time. There's no randomness. There's no change. You're stuck next to that molecule, whether you like it or not, and there you is. No all randomness. No moving around. No randomness. None randomness no getting up out of your seat. That's what's up. Right. Now, with a liquid, those molecules or particles or whatever you are have enough energy to actually moral around and move past each other. So sure. your partner might move. Right. But you still just got two teachers, no randomness. Right. Well, less little, randomness. I'm less extreme. Randomness. I'm very land random. He's not. So there's a little. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now, aqueous. That's now, a little bit different. We start mixing other stuff into the scenario. Chair or something in between <coughs> us or whatever. It's, you know, like. Right. A little more random. Right. So if I look at it from the from the blue dot's point of view, he's got two choices. He could be next to a blue dot or he could be next to a red dot, but he's still limited in his choices. He's going to be next to one of them. One of the two. So there's more randomness related to the others. The most random and chaotic state of matter is the gas, where the particles in an ideal scenario never even see their neighbors to bump into them. Right. And they're, they're running straight lines it's crazy. all the time in crazy different directions. It's the most random. The most abundant elements in the universe are hydrogen and helium. Yeah. And nitrogen. Gases. No. 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 Nitrogen's a little bit deeper down the series. But in terms of astronomy, Hydrogen and helium. The universe, uh, hydrogen and helium. Yes. Both gases. So whenever entropy is going to increase, this delta S, this is the randomness. The randomness increases when I go from solid to liquid, which we just showed you. Mm -hmm. And when I samples are dissolved in water or become aqueous. Right. So when I take the water and now it becomes aqueous, it is now more random. It's got more stuff in it. Right. There's, alter, there's other neighbors to have. And when you turn from a liquid to a gas, you've also created more randomness. There's more space between the atoms. are the most random. They're the most random. And a reaction that produces is a gas for as a product when solids react. So if I have a solid that de decomposes into a gas, it's producing a very random product from a very rigid one. And the universe likes that. And those usually accompany huge exothermic reactions, things right. that produce gases are like explosions and burnings and combustions and all that stuff. Right. And so yeah. when a reaction produces more moles of product than reactant. Right. So it like, likes it likes more more stuff because 
if I'm one product and I can go to two. So like this, this happened to us once and, and the next coming thing, right? right? Where we said gases go to less moles or more moles. One product. Well, when you have two moles of a reactant forming one mole of two products, the two products is more random than one reactant. It could be in many different orientations. That's increased randomness. But, it's but two when things. it's a product, it's only one thing. It's the only way that these two things can go together. So there's more order in right, this. Because they're put together. So this is not favorable. Right. The cap is not going to find the marker if I just leave it here on the table overnight. No, it's going to stay like that. It likes that. And as a matter of fact, it might roll around and fall off the table overnight because the universe favors the randomness. Add some energy and it snaps together. You've got your product. Right. So, so we got some uh, some real quick examples, examples based on just a uh, phase alone. Phase really alone and a little bit of logic. A little bit of logic. So you step into the board? Yeah. Can you circle the ones you want to do? And then we'll, yeah, we'll, help we'll start me out. with number one. Okay. I'll do one, ten, and seven. All right, sweet. Just so I know. And we can, I don't care what order we do them in. But I'm looking at number one, and I see I'm going to start off with a solid, and I'm going to be, I'm going to make a solid and a gas. So right off the bat, I'm making a gas so that my entropy is increasing. Delta S must increase because gases are more random mm -hmm. than solids. So I don't even have to play a mole game. Mm -hmm. Just phase alone, I know the gases are more. The more two random. and three is the mole game that he's talking about. We took two moles of potassium chloride, KClO3, and made two moles of potassium chloride and three moles of oxygen. So it broke apart. It decomposed. It fell apart. The universe likes that. Likes that. Let's do 10 next. Okay. That's what people... All right, I have aqueous plus aqueous going to solid. Now you can use um, the boxes that we used earlier and see which way we're going on those boxes, but solid was on the far left. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going from aqueous back to solid, my delta S must be decreasing. Oh, that's right. I gotta write that. Yeah, I'm going down in my randomness. Aqueous, two aqueous things are more random than one solid thing. Heck, two things are more random than one. one. That's it. So Period. even that. But we're going to stick with the phases. It makes more sense anyway. Mm -hmm. All right, looking at the phases in seven. I got aqueous, aqueous, and then going to liquid. S liquid by itself is similar to solid by itself. Just it can move around. Mm -hmm. So aqueous is more random than liquid. So my delta S is decreasing. Phase alone, decreasing delta S. Two moles, is two things going to one thing. Another reason why. Another reason decreasing. why. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to go through all the rest of these ones. We just wanted to give you a, a flavor mm -hmm. for how we look at the phases of the reactants and the products. Um, if you get stuck, the numbers of the uh, reactants and products will help. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of like the kicker at right. the end if we, if we get stuck. And phases alone should do it. This topic, enthalpy and entropy, is part of kinetics, not really equilibrium. If you see carefully, none of these are reactions that are in equilibrium. They're all just one direction. Yeah, they really are. But this is the kinetic piece. And that's kind of the end of the unit. That's we've covered it all. Yeah. Everything that could be tested on the equal on the regents exam or in our in our class for sure. has been covered. So now it's time for you to practice and do some labs and finish your book. Absolutely. Peace out. Thanks everybody. See you next unit.